So what's going on everyone? Back at it tonight. A little JC Fire action uh, for you. Super, super, super stoked. Uh, shout out to my buddy Brian Ames uh, who uh, hooked me up with a surprise package uh, that I've never had before. So I'm really, really, really stoked. Saw his video on YouTube um, and he said it was a must have in my collection. So I am really, really thrilled uh, to be trying uh, tonight. Uh, this is a first ever for me, so I'm really excited. Magnolia Sauce Company. Uh, I have the original here. Um, I also have the Carolina Mud Dog, which Brian said is, I believe, one of his favorites. And I'm really excited about this last one. I'm going to save this last one. I was back on the fence between the two, whether I was going to do the mud dog last, because after I read the ingredients last night, I found out it had black garlic in it, which I am ecstatic about because I love everything black garlic. Uh, but it's Reaper, uh, Reaper's Orchard. So uh, this is an apple sauce. Anybody that's watched any of my videos knows that I rave about the Jersey Barn Fire. Um, apple, apples in a... Uh, the, the applesauce that they make there. What's up, Justin? Justin from High Spice hopping in on a Facebook stream here. Uh, really cool. So I'm really stoked about these. Brian raved about them. And one thing that I will tell you is is anything that I've learned uh, over the past couple years is me and Brian tend to have a lot of the same taste buds. So I'm really excited. Um, so... You know, I got the Magnolia. It's the first time I've ever had the Magnolia sauce. And then, um, you know, I returned the favor. Some of my favorites, my man Dav at Gemini Crow, I returned the favor and sent him the Blackberry Bell and the Jack the Reaper. So uh, I'm really excited uh, about some of these exchanges we've been, we've been doing. So um, I'm going to get started. Like I said, Magnolia Sauce Company, first time for me ever trying them. Uh, Brian and I talked a little bit a uh, little bit about a uh, while back when he did the review on it and said how much he raved about them said it's a must-have so I have them in my collection um, so we're gonna dive in I'm really really excited I'm gonna try the original first um, because I imagine it's the mildest of the the, the bunch here so um, I am actually going to save the Reaper's Orchard for last. Uh, I'm going to save this one for last. And then we'll go with second with the Carolina Mud Dog. Uh, which I found out last night. I got really, really excited when I found out that there was black garlic in it. So, uh, so the Magnolia Sauce Company uh, is basically uh, uh, out of North Carolina. Um, which is uh, born in North Carolina. Yep. So... Basically, this one it says it's a heat level 5 out of 10, white vinegar, uh, habaneros, jalapenos, dried guajillo peppers, dried arbol peppers, ghost peppers, bell peppers, garlic, onions, carrot, kosher salt, celery, tomato paste, uh, pure can cayenne sugar, and some thyme in that one. So, um, I haven't tried any of these yet. Ooh. Definitely pick up some of the vinegar, but man, there's so much pepper going on in here. Habaneros, jalapenos, dried guajillo peppers, dried arbol peppers, ghost peppers, even to, to add some flavor in there with some of the bell peppers. And then you get some garlic, you get onions, you get carrots, you know, so it's going down the lines like this is going to be a very standard table sauce, uh, which I can tell just by the name of the original. So we'll we'll dive into this one first. Uh, we have some garlic in there, um, some carrots, some onions, kosher salt, which is always good, uh, celery, tomato paste. So cheers. We're going to dive into this one. I got two more after this, so we're good to go. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so I do pick up some of that tomato paste right off the bat. Has a nice little kick to it. Pick up some of the vinegar. What's nice is 
I know the vinegar is first up on the ingredient list, but that blend of pepper is just standing out with some of that uh, tomato uh, paste. Pick up a little bit of that onions, a little bit of that garlic. Do get some of that vinegar in there, but the variety of the peppers. You have the guayillo peppers, which are dried. You got the dry arbols. You got the um, habaneros. You got the jalapenos. Uh, you even got bell peppers in there. You have the ghost peppers. Nice blend. I think the use of the guajillo peppers and the arboral uh, peppers dried brings out that nice, um, almost like a hint. It's not smoky per se, but um, it has a real nice taste to it and balances with that jalapeno, those ghosts, those habaneros. And honestly, the tomato paste comes out really nice. This to me is a very, very, very well done table sauce. Um, I could see my use, I could use this on a lot of things, um, but just about anything I really think because it, it, it is to me a traditional table sauce. It is outstandingly good. Mm. So that tomato paste does come out a little bit. Um, tomato paste comes out. I do pick up a little bit of that onion, a little bit of that garlic. The balance and blends here of all the peppers that are going on. Really, really nice touch. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. So if we're starting here with just your traditional table sauce, I can't even imagine where we're about to head with some of these other sauces. So already, uh, one for three, we hit we hit it out of the park with with the original. So so now this one, I was on the fence back and forth, which one I was going to do. We got the Reaper's Orchard or the careful uh, the Carolina Mud Dog. Um, I opted to do the Mud Dog just because I really wanted the fruit sauce to to be to be last because it's different obviously compared to the two. But man, there is so much depth just from reading the ingredients on this one. Now this one, I said is a hotter than this one, the original here. The original, I would definitely say, is, is a nice medium heat sauce. Uh, it's definitely medium heat. The heat comes on, lets you know it's there, and it definitely subsides. The Carolina Mud Dog is a chocolate habanero hot sauce. It's a savory, uh, savory unami driven sauce with slightly smoky and sweet notes. So, dried chocolate habaneros. You got your white vinegar. Garlic is up higher on this list. Dry guajillo peppers again. Tamarind nectar. Dried smoked uh, jalapeno peppers. Vidali onions, carrots, sweet potatoes, jalapenos, orange habaneros, black garlic, dried ar arboral peppers, lime juice, lemon juice, kosher salt, brown sugar, soy sauce, rosemary. All right, well, there's a lot. There's some sweetness that's going to be in here. You got a lot of pepper depth in here. Some dried, some used, some smoked. Nice touch. What I really, 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 really like is, is the bottom touch. So black garlic um, has that savory balsamic type of taste. The touch here on the back side of using some soy sauce, oh, I can only imagine. So we have a little bit of citrus with the lemon and the lime, right? We have the garlic up top. We got some dried peppers. We got some smoked peppers. You have the Vidalia onions in there. Um, black garlic, which should blend nice with the soy sauce. But then we're using brown sugar to give it some nice sweetness to it. This, I'm already probably going to say... Oh. oh. So I do smell black garlic. All right. 
that is the one thing. The soy sauce and the black garlic blend there stand out. Smell a little sweetness, not too much. Hint, hint, hint of some of the smokiness in there. The dry peppers in there. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this one, this one is definitely thicker than, uh, than the first one we had there. Um, so, oh yeah, definitely thicker. Oh, this one is significantly thicker. Oh yeah, this is trying to get it out <laughs> is significantly thicker in a sense. Um, so, oh man, I can't wait. Oh yeah, definitely getting a thicker consistency with this one here. Um, so, definitely more pepper usage uh, in that one, some of the ingredients. I am so stoked about this one. The smell is, is definitely uh, got me savoring a little bit here, salivating for, for the... Whoa. <clears throat> okay, let me start with the peppers. There's a lot going on with, with the peppers. Pick up some of that dry pepper. 100% in there. I do pick up just a little bit with the, the smokiness from those jalapenos. All right. Pick up a little bit more garlic on this one. Definitely a little bit more heat. Soy sauce with the black garlic balanced very, very, very nicely. Um, it is balanced very nicely with that pepper usage, but the heat is definitely hotter than the original. And you can, all right, so dried peppers have a little bit of a different burn than them. You can feel them lingering in the mouth a little bit. Uh, you can feel them tingling around a little bit. They tend to linger a little bit. First ingredient used here was that dried uh, chocolate habanero peppers. Mouth burn is definitely there. It's in the, the tongue, the roof of the mouth. Um, the tamarind nectar definitely picked up some of that onions. But I'll tell you what, ever so slightly with the citrus, with that lemon lime um gives it a nice little edge on the back side but the soy sauce and the black garlic just mesh so perfectly i can't even begin to tell you that the flavor there is just so much going on with this sauce it is absolutely incredible the Carolina Mud Dog. Definitely has more of a burn than the original does, but the flavor just explodes. Not one thing stands over another, which I really, really like. The soy sauce, that black garlic, that garlic, um, there's a lot going on that it kind of backs off uh, the vinegar usage there and then those dried chocolate hobs just sit they sit right on this is definitely a high medium to me somebody that's not a traditional chili head this will be hot oh, it's so absolutely good oh, soy sauce I almost want to make like Stir fry. I know some people don't sauce steaks, but that that um, soy sauce, black garlic, mashes so well with some red meats is so good. The depth of this sauce is insane. The use of peppers, some smoked, some dried, some regular, some just just all around really nice usage. 
the dry chocolate hobs definitely pick up on the backside after you get that full frontal of the flavor but i just cannot get over the use of the soy sauce with the black garlic and that brown sugar comes in and it's a little little sweet it's just enough to 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 let you know it's there but i would not say it's a sweet sauce by any means so the depth of that sauce is incredible two for two i'm in love thank you brian for sending me these because i'm just ecstatic um the first time really diving into Magnolia, I think he said it's a smaller company. But holy smokes, I am ecstatic because these sauces are incredible. Oh my gosh. I can't get over the smell of this one already, and I haven't even gone over the ingredients. Um, Reaper's Orchard is made with local North Carolina Pink Lady Apples, Carolina Reaper Peppers, well, this is one of our hottest sauces. It's also one of the most flavorful sauces. Here we go. Pink Lady Apples. Apple cider vinegar. Nice use of vinegar there. Jalapeno peppers. Unsweetened applesauce. I can tell that by the consistency right here. Onions, car uh, carrots, garlic. Carolina Reapers. Brown sugar. Maple syrup. Celery to mix spices already love where we're going the maple syrup and that brown sugar uh gonna really bring out the spice of those apples using the unsweetened apple sauce to give that that apple taste that apple appeal to go with those pink lady apples but then sweeten it up with the brown sugar and the maple syrup this smells <laughs> had i known had I not known there were Reapers in there, I probably would start drinking it out of the bottle. It smells that incredible. Pours like applesauce. Well, with the use of the, the, the apples um, and uh, the unsweetened applesauce. Um, what I like about the Reapers, they don't hit right away. Going to really bring out some of the flavors of uh, gonna really bring out some of the flavors here we go <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it literally tastes like spicy applesauce <laughs> this brings me back to warm potted apples on a stove throw a little bit of cinnamon in them cook them up a fresh aroma oh my goodness this is like apple sauce flavorful brown sugar maple syrup were excellent touches the apples stand out they're the forefront and the reapers come on um <sighs> reapers definitely come on on the back side feel it in the ears and the throat a little bit this one says it's a seven out of ten on the the same as the carolina mud dog i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this one is just a bit hotter it's got me salivating a little bit the heat is there it's on the lips, it's on the tongue. You get those stingers. Got in the ears a little bit from the Reapers. Oh my gosh. That is just incredible. It is delicious. It is flavorful. It pours like applesauce. It tastes like applesauce. The brown sugar, the maple syrup, the use of the apple cider vinegar. The Reapers were a perfect touch because the heat is there. It's hot, but the it's a delayed heat with the Reapers, so you get that flavor, you get that pack, you get that punch. 
Oh my goodness. It, it is just stupidly good. The apples are just so at the forefront. It's pink lady apples, the unsweetened applesauce. Like I said, it was almost like I was spooning applesauce with some of the spices, that sweetness from the brown sugar. Wow. I am floored. with how incredible that was. Was ridiculously good. It has got nice kick to it. It is hot. I'm feeling it in the throat, my tongue. Um you know what's got the heat to it when you're you're salivating a little bit in there. It is incredible. It's delicious. To me it is right up my alley. It it is perfect. It is perfect. The heat is not overbearing, it is hot, but it is so well done that those apples are just, they just want you going back for more. It, it, it's almost like you're spooning spicy applesauce is, is the way I would, I would take that. It is that good. Um, man, Brian, I am forever thankful for you to send these to me. You had the original. It was like your traditional standard table sauce. Um, that tomato uh, paste, the puree there, really comes out with that traditional sauce. I, I could really see that, that being used with some Italian cuisine too. Um, the more I think about it. Oh my gosh, what is there not to say about the complexity of the Carolina Mud Dog? Um, black garlic, soy sauce, um, the black garlic, the soy sauce, the use of dried chocolate hobs, you know, we had the guajillo peppers in there, the smoked jalapeno peppers. It was so complex, so balanced, and it's just so incredibly done. It's a Carolina Mud Dog. And then we finished it out with Reaper's Orchard, the Carolina Reaper apple uh, sauce, uh, which had the Pink Lady apples, which come from North Carolina. They're hand-picked there. Unsweetened applesauce, some jalapenos, or some carrots, some garlic. And what's really nice about that is, is I don't pick up too much of that, that garlic. To me, those apples really steal the show, and it was extremely well done. Um, the brown sugar, the maple syrup... Um, and, and do pick up a little bit of that turmeric on the backside. They were incredible. Brian, man, thank you so much. Dude, I can't thank you enough. Guys, thanks for tuning in tonight uh, for a total new sauce company for me. Magnolia Sauces out of North Carolina. Check them out. Uh, they're new to me, but man, they did not disappoint. They were so incredible i can't get over how thrilled i am with these sauces so have a great night guys i'll talk to you later